Here is a short video to help you identify the quantity and quality of the interval. The quantity is just a number, like is it a third, is it a fifth, and the quality is diminished, minor, major, or augmented. And um, in the case of um, unisons, which we'll mark with one, fourths, fifths, and octaves, you only can be diminished, perfect, or augmented, cannot be minor or major. And that's because in fourths and fifths, octaves and unisons, they occur both in the major and minor scale. The, um, uh, so this, they're, they're the same notes in the scale. So the way you figure this out is you count one, two, three, four, five, and so this is some type of fifth. Then you ask yourself, then you pretend that this is the key, the A. And then you ask yourself, is an E in the A major scale? And you know by memory that A major has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. And so that E is in there, so yes, it's major. So normally you'd write major fifth, but of course you know up here can't be major or minor, so it's a perfect fifth. Let's go to the next one. You count one, two, three, four, five, six. Some type of sixth, never going to change. Then you ask, is D in the F major scale? Well, you know by memory that F major has one flat, which is B flat. And a D, therefore, is in the F major scale, so it's a major sixth. Let's keep going here. One, two, three, four. This is some type of fourth. You know it's going to be either diminished, perfect, or augmented. So you have to ask yourself, is, uh, pretend A flat is the key, and so is D flat an A flat major? Well, you know that your key signature is hopefully B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. For A flat major, D flat is here, that's in the key, so it's perfect. Okay, let's let's do this one down here. So we have it's in bass clef, and we have one, two, three, four, some type of fourth. And if C is the key, you're saying um, then here's an F sharp, and you're like, uh-oh, F sharp is not in the key of C major, so you have to go up one half step um, from a perfect fourth and that's an augmented fourth. So let's just go up here, let me uh, get a, a red thing here. So the order, the smallest interval is diminished, actually it could be doubly diminished but we're just gonna stick with diminished now and then it goes minor, then it goes major, and then it goes augmented. I hope you can see that these are capital. So therefore if you have a minor interval and you make it larger by a half step, it turns into a major interval. Or in the case of um, over here, unisons, fourths, fifths, and octaves, if you have a perfect, these are sort of grouped in perfect. So that would be perfect. If you have a perfect interval, a half step sharper, like it is here, half step bigger, it would move the perfect interval to uh, an augmented in interval. Let's try a couple more. Okay, here is an A. And we can sort of know that A to A is an octave, so A to G is some type of seventh. And we know that the key signature of A major, we're going to pretend this is a key, is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. And so here is a G sharp that's in the key. It's a half step away from the tonic there, so that's a leading tone, half step away. So you know that that's a major seventh. Now let's do a couple more. This is a unison, perfect unison. Um... Okay, let's do this one over here. My pen does. This is one, two. That's some kind of second. I'm going to pretend this is B major, and you know it's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. And so I said C sharp already. So there is that. Therefore, it's a major second. Uh, do another one down here. Let's do this one. This is a little tricky. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. The dots didn't really line up. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six some type of six. You're going to put that right away. And now, this is tricky. I'm glad we're doing this. Here is B. That's going to be our starting note. You always use the lower note. And then you have to ask yourself, if you pretend this is B major, uh, B sharp major, you're in trouble because that's not really a key. So let's temporarily just forget this sharp. And so you say, is B to G, what sort of interval is that? Well, in B major, you know that B major has five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. So that G would be sharp if we're in the key of B. 
So B to G is actually a minor 6. We'll write minor 6 up here real quick. So B to G is a minor 6. Now the bottom note, the interval is actually compressed. It's made smaller by the sharp because the sharp's on the bottom. You know, the bottom note's getting closer to the top note. So therefore, it's even smaller than a minor 6th. Therefore, it's a diminished 6th. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, let me see if there's any other... Um, and let's just do this one quick. A to E, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, some kind of 5th. A has 3 sharps, F sharp, C sharp, uh, G sharp. So A to E would normally be a perfect 5th. But a perfect fifth is half step lower than a perfect fifth. If you look up here, you know, if you're going from this perfect interval smaller than a half step, makes it a diminished fifth. So I hope this is helpful in this assignment. Uh, please ask me any questions in class if you have other questions. Okay, bye.